Okay, so whenever I look at a publicly traded company, I just go to their SEC filings. I think it's the first thing everybody should do. Some people look at a chart or something. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You actually kind of don't want to know the stock price necessarily. And um, go to the 10Q. Where's these guys based? Um, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. I don't even know where that is. See, if, if you worked for me and you had all this shit in console.log, you're fired! It's the final countdown. I want to... I fired so I've hired like I fired like over 100 200 people in my life maybe more key crunk all right so we can start with uh, just mapping out what kind of business is this let's take a look it looks like half a billion in revenue per quarter so that is roughly two billion right All right, so we got, let's do license, maintenance, and revenue. One is higher margin than the other, I'll let you guess. All right, license, 208, 981, down year over year, that's not good. But if they're going to sort of software as a service, that might be normal, it's not judgment just yet but in general it looks like revenue is not growing like a weed oh, it's not bad what's that like eight percent would you say six percent definitely not a weed leave my slack alone stop asking questions yeah we're, well of course we're gonna try to break down um, we're gonna try to break down revenue as much as we can. All right, let's look at COGS. So COGS is cost of goods sold, COGS. Um, we're gonna not include amortization there. And so gross margins around 90%. Pretty awesome if you're ANSYS. Okay. Do some crypto at some point. Right now, I'm focused on ANSYS. A N S S is the stock ticker. A N S Y S is the company. All right, so two operating costs. They have SGNA and R and D. Real simple. So SGNA, so Salesforce and all that, and management professional services. R&D is the guys that make the software. Uh, that also goes in COGS, by the way. The actual people making the actual software that gets sold. But R&D is, it's weird, you know, what counts as research and what counts as cost of goods is something a lot of software companies have to contend with. I'll let the accountants sort that out. Margins are what we care about, right? Right. All 
this make sense. Again, not including amortization. They have some interest payments. Let's factor those in. They have this other line. I'm probably going to exclude that line. They have taxes, 24094, and now you have net income, which is around 100 million. So what would you pay for 100 million quarterly net income? That's the question. That's what, 400 million a year, right? What would you pay for 400 million a year of cash flow? Would you pay 8 billion? Right, that would be 20 times. Felix, what's up, man? Terry? Terry, the greatest programmer who ever lived? I use Temple OS. Wasn't Terry a little bit racist? So the company didn't grow last quarter really very much. Um, we still have a lot more to do, so just bear with me. I'm going to try to fill out the balance sheet real quick. All right, cash, AR. Maybe I'll put this over, over here. You guys can't see it. It'll go a little faster. like a growth by acquisition given all this goodwill they have. Alright, these are the assets of the company. That goodwill is not tangible, so really two billion in assets. Anybody, everybody understand how goodwill works, I hope? Good, because I don't. I'm just kidding, I kind of understand it. an operating system from scratch. So deferred revenue is very important. Does everybody know what deferred revenue is? It's very important for software companies. It's not so important for anybody else. But deferred revenue is sort of the opposite of accounts receivable. It's, help me out here, accounts receivable is sales you've booked but they haven't collected yet. Deferred revenue is sales you've made, but you haven't booked yet. Well, not sales you've made. Money you've collected, but sales you haven't recognized yet. So you've deferred recognition of that revenue, but you've received cash for it. So you will book revenue in a future future time. And for software, that, that's very common. So you need to sort of um, watch that line for software company. Right? Is it normal for companies to have debt on their balance sheet? Yes. It's not like personal debt, which you'd never want. Companies get into debt positions strategically to acquire other companies, to do whatever. Of course, debt is a liability. There's no doubt about that, but generally um, shouldn't look at debt and say, oh, this company has debt. This doesn't make any sense. You know, it's uh, companies that have a bigger, strong balance sheet with no debt. Of course, that's that's fine. But even the strongest, biggest companies will get into debt to do various things uh, like buy other companies, do a share buyback, etc. It all depends on your so-called cost of capital, COC, cost of capital. Yeah, you can have large amounts of cash in case uh, of a bad you know, in case of a rainy day, so to speak, and that's not a bad thing, but um, it's not unusual for most of the S&P 500 to actually have a debt, net debt position. Buffett is smart in the sense that, you know, he wants to save for a rainy day. But if, you've, if you have um, targets to acquire, I don't think Buffett would have a problem getting into uh, net debt. 
Um, I think he generally doesn't like it because of the, the kind of flexibility you, you forego. But I also think that if he had the deal of the century, he would take it and he would go into net debt. Even though he sort of said that he wouldn't, I think he would. What Warren says and what Warren does are two different things. And he's sort of retired now anyway. All right, reported net income. This is for six months. So I'm going to do 169.788 minus this. In fact, I'm going to wait for this. You know, I'm going to go to Q1. So let's go to the Q1 10Q. And again, you go on sec.gov to go see this stuff. And I've got this second 10Q open. All right, so growth here was a little better, it looks like. Um, yeah, for 425 in revenue. Last quarter was 132, 604, 236, 22, 363. So what do you think that is? Like 15%? 17%, nice. So yeah, the company, if you blend those two, right, that's still pretty good growth at 10 per 10, 12%. All right, let's look at cost of goods. So this is sort of a competitor to the startup I'm building called Druglike. Druglike has bigger designs than just making simulation software for um, small molecules. It also one day wants to make simulation software for everything. If you can simulate it, we're going to help you. Yeah, biologics are just large molecules, right? It's hard; to, they're harder to simulate. But you can simulate dif different things with antibodies and things like that. Like I said, if it's a physical system, I'm interested. ASIC design is definitely the the. You know, Dave, the that's the the granddaddy, right? That's how Cadence and all those companies are worth so much. It's kind of remarkable how, how much they're worth. All right, these guys have some gap, non-gap adjustments, but let's leave those alone for now. Quantum computers don't really exist yet, Frank. How are you doing, though? Uh, one day quantum computers will exist. Um, for now, they're kind of very weak. Uh, they don't compete with... Uh, transistor-based computers, but I'm watching the quantum computing space pretty closely. I have some friends in that space. It definitely is one day going to do different things, and for simulation especially, it's going to be quite important. Sometimes it's a good idea shorting drug stocks, sometimes it isn't. Depends on the stock. Like, look at, uh, what's that company? I know the CEO, actually. Uh, Cassava? That was a pretty good short. All right. Uh, so in America, almost all financial statements on sh on Shul are um, consolidated. So there, there's not like other countries where you have a parent and then uh, parent reporting and then subsidiary reporting and consolidated reporting. In America, you just have consolidated reporting. So ANSYS, this company here, must have a hundred subsidiaries, but they only report the consolidated numbers. That's a feature of the American financials. Uh, I know in other countries, um, sometimes you'll get subsidiary accounting, which doesn't make too much sense if you ask me, but that's how other countries do it. All right, 4363951. All right, so we got a balance sheet that balances here. We've got net cash. All right. So now we're going to do the all important cash flow statement. Zoetis is an interesting company. Um, I don't have too much strong of an opinion. Um, probably more expensive for my taste, but the animal healthcare market is big. And I'll just make a shout out to my cat, Trashy. Love you, Trashy. Love you. Love you very much. All right. Enough of that. If Jashi were here, she'd jump on the keyboard and stop me from trying to work. So you don't need to work, you just need to pet me. <laughs> but Trashy, so 
but I see you moving your fingers. Just move them right here. Right here. Move them right here. And here, right here too. She gets jealous of the keyboard. Why are you petting that keyboard so much? I'm the cat here. One day I'll have a dog too, and the dog will feel the same way. And I'll tell the dog, shut up! That's what I used to tell Trashy. She used to start meowing and meowing and meowing and say, shut up, kitty! Alright, there's the cash flow from operations much higher than that income, which is interesting. Depreciation of intangible assets or amortization. I'll just say DNA. Lease, deferred taxes, bad debt, stock-based comp, other working capital. All right. Uh, I should probably do the rest of the balance, the cash flow statement. Acquisitions. Yeah, Cadence is a big one, man. And then uh, don't forget about uh, their competitor, Synopsys. And then, of course, Hexagon. And um, there's others. You know, the IC design space, simulation space is so big. It's, like, shocking. You know, but it doesn't, in some ways, it doesn't shock me because if you go back to von Neumann and Univac and Edivac and all that stuff, um, like the man, even the Manchester, like the first use cases for computers were what? Simulations. Now we've, the world's changed quite a bit, but um, people, scientists still need, you know, still need the stuff for simulations. He knows no Neumann. Yeah, this is von Neumann. He was my uncle. Um, he was not my uncle. Uh, Nikola Tesla might have been my uncle, but that's about it. Yeah, so is, is uh, Alibaba not getting delisted? Is that, the, is that what's happening? That'd be good. Uh, we can beef with whoever you want me to beef. Is the screen black? I hope not. Of course I play Wobox. <laughs> Who doesn't play Wobox? All right, buybacks. Um, restricted stock withholding taxes. That's usually um, related to proceedings of ESOP. All right. Interesting, these guys don't do much cash management on the balance sheet. I kind of like that, to be honest. These companies doing all these complex treasury operations. All right, now we have FX. And then we should add all these up, and you'll get something called kind of change in cash. So this is 10 million. So they, they swept kind of all the cash flow into buybacks. If you add up these three numbers, cash flow from operations, cash flow from investing, and cash flow from financing, you kind of get a um, you get a sense for what um, where the cash is going. So they made money in their business, but they spent it um, buying back their stock. And that's why the cash didn't go up from last quarter. Now we don't have that here. And here you'll actually see the cash went down, even though they made cash flow from operations. I am going to be on the Adam Friedland podcast. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Um, I've been in touch with them. Um, I hope you guys are fans of that podcast. I don't know it that well, but um, I've been recommended to go on it and I will be joining it. So thank you for, for mentioning it. John von Neumann was probably one of the smartest people who ever lived. Um, at least everyone seems to think so. I don't think any programming language can be learned in a day. I think you can learn and look at all the keywords in that language, the restricted words, um, the restricted identifiers even. And if you study computer programming languages carefully, which I'd recommend this book for what it's worth. What is it so-called wizard book sometimes? It's, and it's free actually if you want to just go here. You really want to study computer programming. This is what I would do. 
constructor and interpretation of computer programs. Uh, what are you doing to me, Adobe? Um, you can get the paperback edition, but it's it's free on MIT's website. And this has been the same introduction to programming book in for MIT for many years. Um, Python, there's a free Python book as well. Uh, one positive dude, good question. So each filing has a quarter, so to put them together, you have to sort of make a sheet, and this is what professional investors do. It's called modeling, financial modeling. Um, this is what hedge funds, private equity funds, mutual funds, any professional investor tends to do to study how the financials move uh, over time, kind of longitudinally. Um, so anyway, and the SEC filings don't make it easy. Like, for example, they, the cash flow statement is always in these presented in this very weird way, which makes you uh, disaggregate the quarter, them quarterly, which is a real pain. Thankfully, over time, you kind of get used to it, but... All right. Okay, and so you can see cash flow from operations for Q2 was positive 119 million. So over these two quarters, the company made 330. So if I take 330, let's see, that's that's over one half. So I multiply by two, and I would say I'd multiply by 30% since they're growing revenue by 10%, and probably all that drip drops to the bottom line. Let me do that and multiply that all by say 30 times earnings. I get 25 billion valuation. Let's keep that um, number in mind as we look at what the stock price is. As a matter of fact, let's look what the stock price is now. Let's go to Ansys stock, 263.27, 263.27, and we multiply that by the amount of shares. So the price per share times all the shares gives you the value of the company. And look at that, it's 23 billion, almost exactly the same price that I predicted. So it's good to cover up the stock price and see, well, based on your own estimate, what would you pay? I would pay 26 billion, and it's trading at 23 billion. That doesn't make it a bargain. Now, I've only been working on this for 15 minutes, so that doesn't give me a final answer, but it's an interesting um, back of the envelope, right? Oh, we can, we can do programming, my dude. We can do programming. We, we can do React later. I got what you need. Come to Shkreli for all your needs. All right. So let's see, acquisitions. Looks like they bought a company in this quarter. Really big, 247 million. Maybe they'll buy me out someday. Or maybe I'll buy them out. It's a really good um, shortcut is Control R. You can see it as I'm right in here. If I press Control R, it'll copy the formula from this cell into the empty cell. So Control R, boom, equals sum of the three cells above me. Let me just show you one more time. Control R, and now that's copied right there. So I can go here and control R. So when these numbers are set, the formulas will be set. Same thing here, same thing here. Really fast, um, fast uh, system. Poor ape. Ape's gonna have additional information? That's a different kind of halt. News pending. Huh. News pending, help! Please don't short. Yeah, so control C takes more time. So if you did control C, you can do control C. You do control C, then control V and control V. It's extra keystrokes. You just do control R, it's faster. It saves you a couple of keys, not a big deal, but. All right, buyback. Minus 155, 571, minus this. So they didn't do any buybacks in that quarter because they presumably they're buying the, the company, the, 
company they bought, whatever that acquisition was. Minus one, 290, minus this, okay, that makes sense. Everything adds up, minus 21039, and I again press control R. So, did this all add up? Why did the change in cash, if you take these three numbers, not equal our kind of, let's see what our change in, change in net cash, this is our own homebrew formula, our change in net cash was, should, it should be roughly, they should, they should be similar. So yeah, they were pretty similar. The, the cash flow statement had chat cash go down by 147 million, again, mostly due to the acquisition. Our change in net cash was minus 40. So what, what accounts for that? Seven million in difference. Well, a lot of little things could account for it, so it's not that important. Um, but if they were massively different, that'd be interesting, right? Okay. So we now should look at Q4. The problem with Q4 is the 10K has a lot of like it's it's really not as as the same as the 10Q. In fact, at this point, I think we should probably go to their investor relations website and actually start looking at how they look how they report earnings. So I just type I just googled an Ansys investor relations and I'm just going to go here. And every big company and every small company has kind of like a investor relations section. And here's the quarterly results. Let's see if we can find Q4's results. So quarterly accordion, whatever that is. <laughs> um, so here's 2021 Q4 press release. I like how they laid this all out. Uh, maybe we'll listen to this webcast while we rock and roll. This is such a pain. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by and welcome to the Ansys. All right, let's take a look at the Q4 results. With us today are AJ Gopal, President and Chief Executive Officer, Nicole Anasina, Chief Financial Officer, and Kelsey DeBryan, Vice President, Investor Relations. All participants will be in listen only mode. Should you need assistance, please signal a conference specialist by pressing the star key followed by zero. After today's presentation, there will be an opportunity to ask questions. To ask a question, you may Can press I star shrink one this a little bit? Keypad. To withdraw your question, what please press star and Q. Please note this event is being recorded. At this time, I would like to turn the conference over to Ms. DeBryan for opening remarks. Please go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Our earnings release, the related prepared remarks document, and the link to our second quarter 2022 Form 10-Q have all been posted on the homepage of our investor relations website. They contain the key financial information. I love it when you have and gap and non-gap revenue that are different. To, to me, our that's second crazy. Quarter financial results and business update, as well as our Q3 and updated fiscal year. Do we leap as an Albania? Outlook. Show me and the key underlying quantitative and qualitative cool, assumptions. Today's presentation contains forward-looking information. Important factors that may affect our future results are discussed in our public filings. Forward-looking statements are based upon our view of the business as of today, and ANSYS undertakes no obligation, no obligation to update any such information. During this call, we will be referring to non-GAAP financial measures so non unless otherwise stated. A discussion of the various items that are excluded and reconciliations of GAAP to the comparable non-GAAP financial measures are included in our earnings release materials. I would now like to turn the call over to our President and CEO, Ajay Gopal, for his opening remarks. Ajay? Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Q2 was yet another excellent quarter for answers where we once again beat across our key metrics, including revenue, ACV, operating margin, and earnings per share. That, coupled with our healthy pipeline, gives us further confidence in the business and has enabled us to raise our full year guidance on ACV and revenue in constant currency. Nicole will have the details in a few minutes. 
Our largest contract of the quarter was a three-year, nearly $25 million agreement with an international electronics brand. This new contract includes ANSI solutions for semiconductors, electronics, fluids, as well as our learning hub to make users more familiar and productive with our Look software. at the big Q4. By standardizing the solutions, this customer expects to increase its product's yield while decreasing verification time for signal and power integrity. Another multi-million dollar agreement in Q2 enables an international automotive OEM to expand its usage to include ANSYS solutions for enterprise level materials intelligence, electromagnetic interference, Growth is a little and low. autonomous driving. This customer has already realized up to 5x improvements in aerodynamics and thermal engineering productivity, a reduction of more than 40% in material properties acquisition costs, and a 10% improvement in hydrogen storage for its fuel cells. From a geographical perspective, we saw strong growth. revenue growth from Asia Pacific High and, India, digits. and the Americas came in as expected. Our 36% concentrated growth in revenue in Asia Pacific was thanks to several large contracts, including one with Murata Manufacturing, a Japanese company that specializes in electronic components. With Murata, the multi-year agreement spans our multi-physics portfolio and provides the company with an important thermal-aware system simulation flow for radio frequency modules. This solution is expected to provide faster thermal sign-off by reducing the number of redesigns and by improving the ease of use of ANSYS products through a single interface. From an industry perspective, the high-tech and semiconductor, aerospace and defense, and automotive and ground transportation sectors were again our largest contributors. We also saw continued strength in the energy space, reflecting a mix of traditional and renewable use cases, as well as in the industrial equipment sector, where we recorded a number of multi-year agreements from companies around the world. For example, longtime customer WEG, a global leader in electrical engineering power and automation technology, signed a multi-year contract in Q2 to standardize on ANSYS simulation. This new agreement will help the Brazilian company rethink its product development process by creating and implementing right, gap, non -gap. of its motors. Looks this agreement will drive WEG's electrification like all the and adjustments we've made ourselves. Initiatives. Now I'd like to briefly mention a different kind of customer success story. Cool. I would like to congratulate NASA, NASA and Northrop Grumman on the success of the James Webb Space Telescope. Yeah. We have all seen the stunning images that have come from this largest and most precise optical instrument ever developed. And we are proud here at ANSYS for the role that we played in its creation. That's pretty cool. Naturally, it was impossible to physically test the entire mission before launch. And given the unforgiving environment of space, the mission had to run as expected the first time. Any error would have cost billions of dollars in expenses with perhaps an even greater scientific loss. That is why the team developed the rocket, the telescope, and the entire mission in part using ANSYS simulation. Very cool. With ANSYS, engineers overcame a number of unique challenges, including folding a structure the size of a tennis court into a rocket and then unfolding it, and then understanding how perpetual solar radiation would affect its operations. Engineers use ANSYS Mechanical to identify solutions to ensure the satellite's connected segmented mirror would behave the same way a monolithic mirror would. Our optical solutions were used to design and test each step in the mirror alignment process, from the initial segment search to the final phasing. In addition, mission planners used our digital mission engineering solutions to test variables that impact how the satellite is launched and to determine how to keep the satellite right, there the growth is pretty good so it looks pretty lumpy but 12 percent and the results annual growth over the last four well, quarters simply out of this world turning to our leadership in solutions for multi-physics simulation oh did you get what he said the results are out of this world 2022 release two I like a comprehensive that. set of solutions and capabilities that cross physics engineering disciplines and industries included in this release are machine learning techniques and our core products which are automatically optimizing repetitive processes 
predicting workflows, and enhancing user productivity. We have also delivered artificial intelligence technology that enables customers to perform massive design optimization studies to arrive at an optimal design in a fraction of the time once required. This release also provides new high-performance computing capabilities and custom workflows for industry-specific applications, which will help more users address computationally complex problems by examining the impact of multiple physics at the same time. This added functionality is extending our multi-physics leadership while enabling customers to make their next generation products a reality. I am also excited that TSMC recently certified Ansys' power integrity software for its industry leading N4P and N3E process technologies. The certification for Ansys Red Hawk SC and Ansys Totem enables next generation silicon designs for machine learning, connectivity, and high performance computing applications. I'm also pleased to announce that ANSYS has joined the Intel Foundry Services Cloud Alliance. Our electronics and semiconductor suite, which includes ANSYS Red Hawk SC, ANSYS HFSS, and ANSYS Raptor X, are available as part of the design flow that will help enable Intel customers to enhance their productivity. Rounding out our partner updates, Samsung Foundry has announced that it is using ANSYS's industry-leading multi-physics solutions to develop designs on the most advanced chips, nodes, and process technologies. Using ANSYS, Samsung Foundry will deliver a comprehensive design flow with greater capacity, speed, and integration capabilities for the company's most advanced semiconductor technology to boost high-speed connectivity while helping to reduce design error and risk. On our last call, I discussed the role that ANSYS solutions are playing in our customers' sustainability initiatives, including for increase, increasing fuel efficiency, in driving electrification, and in decreasing the rates of emissions. We have recently created a cross-functional center of excellence composed of members of our development and consulting teams to advance sustainability initiatives for our customers and partners. Our subject matter experts are focused on how ANSA simulation can help accelerate the creation of new, more efficient, and lower impact products beginning at the design and development phase. As part of our own sustainability endeavors, ANSA is committed to reducing our environmental footprint. To that end, we have announced that we have set a 15% reduction of scope one and scope two emissions by 2027. To hit that target, we are implementing projects identified in energy audits, including lighting enhancements and on-site renewable energy. We recently submitted to the carbon disclosure project for the third year in a row and continue to enhance our task force on climate-related financial disclosures. I am also excited to announce that Fast Company has recognized several ANSYS employees with its World Changing Ideas Award for the ANSYS Minerva template. This template is built on our Minerva solution for simulation process and data management and provides an FDA-guided approval process for medical devices to speed potentially life-saving products All right. for patients more quickly. We could take a break from ANSYS. I'm also proud that ANSYS has been certified as a most loved workplace by the best practice. I think I get a rough understanding of the company. This honor was company. bestowed on ANSYS because of our collaboration, our corporate values and practices, as well as the outcomes we drive and demonstrate why we are an employer of choice. Next week, we'll have an opportunity to discuss ANSYS's longer term business and financial goals. Okay, well, let's see. What's up, Tanme? Tanme is a Nalane. Meripas. I always want to learn Hindi. Mark Cuban. Not the smartest guy, in my opinion. Just like one of these intense dudes that's not just not that smart. Really intense, but
Paul, Jake Paul, who claims he turned down $40 million in sports betting endorsements, it doesn't count if it's from stake, to start better, thinks he's the best person to bet on this company is himself. He thinks the best reason to bet on the company is himself. I fully believe I'll be the Jay-Z of this generation. And this will be a billion dollar company, my first billion dollar company. This is what I love. I'm a Capricorn? What? I was built to work? Man, this guy will be broke. I'm a Capricorn. The fuck? Come on, Jake Paul. You're a Capricorn? That's why you're going to be a billionaire? Because you're a Capricorn? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Uh, I'm not gonna play video games during working hours, okay? All right. I actually have to do some legal thing. I have to send some emails to some people I don't like for a legal case. Doing some busy work real quick. I got a new Xbox. me on Xbox. My name is Martin SHK. So feel free to add me on there. And I don't know. I'm trying to play Call of Duty, but it won't even let me log in. It's very weird. Let's give me another minute while I finish some of this. Sorry for waiting. You want me to play Wobox? League of Legends.
Roblox. Roblox? Let's see if I got that Windows Store. How do I play Roblox? Do I use the Epic Games Launcher? Is that... Look at this... Crap. Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. Roblox. Roblox! Sign up. Mom, I want to play Roblox! Mom, I want to play Minecraft. <laughs> Mom! Mom, I'll play Wilcock. Mom, I'll play Wilbox. Oh, I definitely need to play the Stray Cat game. Tell me more about that. Trashy Cat is my going to be my username. Of course, the username is taken. Okay. Trashy Cat 15. How about that? Gender only two, only two options for gender. This is a disgrace. Look at that. Male, female. That's it. What's going on here? Short. Roblox. This isn't woke. Username already taken, Trashy Cat 15. Oh my god. Trashy Cat 2022. How many people play Roblox? Play Roblox. I want to play Roblox. Welcome to Bloxburg. We're gonna play Roblox. Don't have permission to join this experience. I want to play Roblox the hood. I want to play Roblox. Want to play Roblox. I want to play Roblox. Ooh, untamed animals. Let's play. <laughs> I want to play. I'm play Roblox. Bro. I want to play Roblox. Hey. Let's go! Whoa! Rehab animals into the wild! First, select a rescue animal! Well, what are these animals? That looks like a wabbit. What is that? A hyena? No, I want the wabbit. Wallaby? Gray wolf or hyena? Uh, I'm gonna get the wallaby. Robux? What bug is this? Look at this bug. Trash programmer, huh? Sir. 
Sir, I'm stuck, sir. Sir, I appear to be stuck. Okay, thank you for rendering me again, sir. Oh, wow, cool. A wolf. Hey! What's up? That's my pet. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this game sucks. Gotta sell all my Roblox now. Fuck out of here. That bullshit. short? I think we gotta go short. I mean, it's good games for kids, I guess, but I don't know. Whoa, blocks. Whoa, blocks. Whoa, blocks. Roblox. Hey! I play Roblox. You play Roblox. <laughs> AMC, man, what a joke. Ape is gonna go to zero. How do I play the Stray Cat game? Yeah, I play wool blocks all fucking day. Get me sandwich, mom. And play my wool blocks. I'm a wool blocks hustler. Me and my homies, we play wool blocks. BuzzFeed is public? Man, I totally forgot.
I think I'm coming out with a book. Isn't that exciting? But it's not going to be any normal book. Oh no. It's going to be really unique. Oh. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna love. Mm -mm. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Anybody else like that song? I do. Alright, so how can I entertain you, my loyal followers and fans? It doesn't make any sense because you neglect leverage. Eh? I don't use multiples at all. Volume two, 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 two. There is a new secret Twitter. You'll be able to find it. Play chess, eh? I do need to get my rating up on this one. Chess.com. That's on that email. I gotta just focus and not be distracted by anything or anyone. Liquidia is an American company. Delaware, America. 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 Did I say America? America. I am human. Why are you asking me if I'm human? Don't you know already? This is so frustrating. I have an account. I'm logging in. Log in with Google. You bastard. You know, I think I might have to log in with Facebook. You bastard. Oh my god. Enter your six digit code. What? Did you just log in from New York? No. I'm fucking log in from New York.
All right. Let's play the feud. Should I play 10 minutes? Why not? Is that Chinese, right? No, Turkey. All right, so let's see. He plays that, really? Um... here maybe okay any pressure I have to worry about I don't think so I can castle because this pawn was hanging because of the pin the bishops pinned was pinned to the king now I'm good Knight's gonna come to d7 maybe c6 okay so I have two attackers on d5 and I have b7 being attacked c6 and I sort of throw away no how about well, knight d7, and if he wants to take the poison pawn, he can. Usually a bad idea, right? This is the poison pawn. Almost never a good idea to take. Rook comes to b8, he takes a7, I take here. And I would say black is better, even though pound pawn down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Okay. Uh. Now look at his position. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, C4 could be coming, but he's got to get this guy out of the way. I should probably protect this. I can probably get my queen out of this pin too, which doesn't hurt. Not sure why he'd want to do that. Giving up a strong bishop for a pretty meaningless knight. Of course, that's just my two cents. He's behind a development, too. C6 is probably too passive. Okay. That's a little bit bizarre. I could probably just target C2 here, which she's going to have to defend. I don't see what that knight can really do. And now, I think I have a big advantage. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't that just lose the... Yeah, that just loses. Outright loses, right? I'm never gonna run around and hurt you. Is Lauren here? Hey, Lauren! Love you, miss you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, buddy. Da, da, da. I mean, whatever. It's all good. All good in my hood. Oh, Lauren, I want to introduce you to, of all people, Childish Gambino. I don't know if you still like him. I don't know Ray well enough. I, I hear he's a good guy from people know who know him. Oh, you already know him? 
Oh, okay, sorry. Um, my friend is working with him, so. All right, what do I do here? Let's not get distracted. Although, if I'm going to get distracted, Lauren is the best possible distraction. Okay, we'll make sure that we all hang out. All right, I'm up a, a bishop for two pawns, I guess, or I'm up a bishop down a pawn, I should say. Probably a better way to put it. I don't know that I want to keep harassing his queen. Maybe it's just time to... Yes, yes, I'm a connoisseur of beautiful women. I can't uh, be stopped. Although I will get married someday. I want to make sure I make my parents proud. And all parents just want, you know, grandkids. I don't think his queen's tr Yeah, his queen's got... Hey, you're right. Oh, well, now you're giving me hints, which isn't good. I don't need hints. I have to stop looking at chat and focus 100% of the game. I'm not going to marry an Albanian. No, probably not. Okay. Yeah, he's basically trapped now, right? He'll be able to go here. Oh! Whoa! Mouse slip, what the fuck? Ugh! Fuck! Give me a take back. Oh, you son of a gun. Ugh! Motherfucker! Now, I play. See, I have to have that killer instinct. You guys are distracting me. You stupid. Now I play with you. Now I play with your butt. You'll see. Motherfucker. Now I'm going to play with your bot. This is what happened. And look, he still has not developed this rook. What a scumbag. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Yeah, I used to go to chess tournaments and be like, just mentally prepare and be like, I'm going to win this tournament. I'm going to go 4-0. I'm going to win. Nobody can beat me. Nobody here is any good. I'm the best. And like, just psych psychically manifest it. Oh, he's fucked. I don't even see a way for him to get out of this. He's thinking, he's like, what do I do? That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't prioritize your king safety. All right, one does not simply quell the scroll. I mouse slipped a free bishop and still won. How about that? How about that? Yeah, I got a video of me playing chess in Washington Square Park. Never gonna run around. Nobody give you up. Go ahead, take all five minutes, buddy. Not sure it's a good idea to get married for your parents. Yeah, that's true. That's why I might just pump out some babies. <laughs> this is mating too. There's no way around it, buddy. Mating too. Best you could do is bishop takes b5 and just go YOLO. 
Other idea. No, that's it. You fucked. Fakakta. You could try bishop to d3. That might save you. As weird as that move is, it might save you. Still not going to save the game, but it'll save checkmate. He did it! The madman did it! Bishop d3 has been played. Uh, this still is going to lose a rook. Right? Takes, takes, check. Yeah. Perhaps he doesn't have to take. But I assume he has to take. Watch, I do another mouse slip and throw my queen away. See? What are you doing? Stupid. Okay, he didn't have to take. Well, then I just got a free bishop, which I think I'm okay with. Take with rook or take with queen? Probably take with rook. Oh, yeah, no problem, buddy. Don't want to do back rank mate, but I'm not at risk of that. Botez? The Botez sisters, aren't they babes? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. This is the easiest win ever. You gotta resign, buddy. Uh, is this gonna be zigzag? This might be zigzag. Yeah. 
Zugzwank. These crazy German words. All right, thank you, stupid shithead. Piece of crap. Carol Con time. I don't even know how to play this. Losing the queen. <laughs> I don't want to lose that bishop, but that's life. Uh, I don't know if that is good for him. I don't. I kind of don't want these pawns. It is better. Extra pawn. This pawn's hanging. Pawn mass in the center. White is better, for sure.
Ok. Eu los. Eu los. <laughs> You stop mid now, my friend. You cannot stop. Yes, you can stop like this, but you still cannot stop. Nineteen seconds. What the fuck? What am I doing? Check, fuck. No, this is mate in two. Unless I do that, I guess. Oh, this is, you get three seconds back. I fucked up. I didn't see that shit. I thought I had 19, oh man. These, these, you're lucky. That's what I'll say, you're fucking lucky. I didn't know it was three two time controls. I thought I had five seconds left or whatever. All right, I've had enough of this shit.
make sure you subscribe. Hey, Chossie son. Thanks for subscribing, man. Hurricane Bob. Yeah, this ape thing didn't work out, huh? It's a shame. Can't really rig the stock market. It's, it's kind of hard to hard to do. Twitter will only let me like follow one person at a time. It's really weird. like my follow ratio or something. Yeah, I was up pretty late. Um, I got some sleep early this morning, though. No biggie. I wear a size 10. I like turtles. Lauren showed me that a long time ago. I like turtles.
seeds in your seedless watermelon. What's up, Farbud? I am not a big fan of technical analysis, whatever that means. It's kind of a meme, if you ask me. Uh, thanks, Chris. That's what I think of myself as. Um, how can I entertain you people? It's almost market close. I must entertain Anthony Fauci to step down as nation's top ID official. But he's not retiring. Maybe he'll go work at Gilead. I'm still not using a hardware wallet, um, but we are going to get them set up. Um, my holdings are in a hardware wallet, but I'm not actually in possession of that wallet. I don't know if that makes sense. The rise and fall of homomorphic encryption. Sweet, sweet, how sweet, fresh meat. <laughs> Have I heard of Illumina? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right, let's play stray game just for trashy. What? What's this? This looks cool. Spooky demons. No. Oh, that's awesome. Jashi's excited already. Killer mice? No. <laughs> this is the greatest game of all time. This is my mush mush. Yeah, it's good mush mush. <laughs> it's on PS5. Okay. I gotta get it on Steam. I have to send out some emails. Dogs, hold on.
I have to send an invitation. I'm so bad at this. Compose, formatting options, attach files, insert link, insert files. I've never done this on Google. Insert photo, insert signature, more options. I have no idea how to do this. Anybody know? Compose. Okay. Chat spaces meet. New meeting? No. Trashy video game would cost a lot of money. I love trashy, but I don't know. That, that's worth it. How do I send a Google Calendar invite? Do I go to Google Calendar, maybe? Forbud, leave me alone, Forbud. You're not my friend. Are you packy, Forbud? I think you are. Trashy definitely needs sponsors. I totally agree. I was just talking to my dad about this. Trashy cat, trashy cat, where are you? Trashy cat, trashy cat, I love you. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. Trashy cat, trashy cat, I love you. Trashy cat, trashy cat, uh -huh. I don't like cigars. Yes, I'm involved in many business ventures. Mmm, AMC and Ape are really dumping. They're really dumping right now. Ideal brand partner for a cat is definitely Temptations. If you get that Temptations, if you got that Temptations, uh, <laughs> Temptations endorsement, your your money good. Sheldon is funny. He says Trashy's gonna slap the shit out of me. Probably. She's gonna <laughs> smack me right in the mouth. I agree. I have it coming to me. I'm short AMC, my man. I'm short. Gonna slap me right in the mouth. Where you been? How come? How come? You've not been around for years. She's gonna say, I don't even know who you are anymore. I would never retire for any amount of money. That's not what Shkreli does.
uh, Barstool. I think I'm going to do a Barstool podcast at some point. Oh, I might take a nap since I was up all night. I might just tough it out. I don't know. I don't even know. stock market's undervalued or overvalued. I don't follow energy, sorry. Yeah, gonna run around. Are you guys still here? If my cat was here, she'd start purring. She'd start nudging me like, hey, go to sleep. Come on. Just go to sleep. Come on. And no trash. You can't go to sleep. She'd start curling up. Time to sleep. All right, so pretty good day, up 2%. Rarely that good. Uh, let's see where the count is at. I always try to keep this on top, but keep window on top. There we go. 20, 52,000, so that's up around 2,000 from where we started, which was about a month ago. Not bad, not great, but um, better than nothing. Are there Chinese people in jail? Well, are there Asian people in jail? And there generally are not. Interestingly, a questive. Yeah, there's still a massive Discord, sure. And yeah, you definitely want interactive brokers over Robinhood. You can short stocks without options, you just short common stock. I was in an inventing Anna, yeah. Yeah, Ben Ben's a man. Discord.gg forward slash Martin Scrolly. Bill Wang's definitely going to jail. I feel bad for him.
give you up. You can climb a bed. Almond Nuts is a good point. I will collab with GeoHot. Why not? Uh, I'm not too smart for Lex. Lex has some really, really great um, guests. I'm friends with Lex on LinkedIn, so... Anyway, thanks for coming, guys. I'll probably be streaming a little later. I just want to get a little rest. I've been out here for a little while. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me and do all that. Um, it's great to be back. I uh, love each and every one of you. Even you haters, I love you too. Thanks for coming. I love you trashy most of all. See you. Bye-bye.